Aloha and welcome to part 7. We are now taking on Great Taiga, who hails from India and has teleportation powers. Yes, teleportation powers. Alright, so one thing to know about Great Tiger right off the bat, uh, you can get three star punches right away when uh, the, the match starts because every time his jewel glows yellow, you just punch him and that's that. Also one thing to keep note of, when he does a special attack right here, the minute he charges at you, you hit him once, no matter how big his health bar is, you will drain it and he will go down. You have to hit him in the gut, and you have to hit it right as he's about to hit you. You can dodge it instead, and you'll be fine, but, you know. That's a special attack. He splits into two different Great Tigers. He might do a little fake-out, like running around as both of them, but you can clearly tell which one is which, because one is more transparent than the other. And you want the more solid Great Tiger, obviously. So if the fake one moves first, don't swing for it. Well, I mean, you can, but it won't do anything. And you want to hit the real guy when he comes charging at you. It's a great way to knock him down. In fact, you can knock down a uh, Great Tiger in three hits this way, and that's one of the challenges for the challenge mode. But we'll see the challenge mode later in this LP. Uh, the thing you have to know about Great Tiger, he has a whole bunch of roundhouse clothesline type movements, and uh, you have to be moving in the direction he's coming from. If you move in the opposite direction, he'll hit you. If you duck, he'll hit you. If you block, well, you can't block, because I don't think any of his attacks except for like the middle punch can be blocked. So, uh, when he starts doing that roundhouse swing, you gotta charge in the direction he's coming from. And that's one thing to keep note of. Aside from his special attack, uh, he's not really too bad. I mean, the thing that's gonna catch you off guard is he'll teleport, then throw his, his arm at you, you know? And that's kind of misleading, but not really. I could have ended this match so quickly. God. <laughs> Where am I? I can't even find my chocolate bar. I must be in the wrong corner. When his jewel is red, uh, I believe you can't counter punch it, although I could be wrong. I just know that if you swing at giant, uh, Great Tiger when his jewel is red, He'll teleport away with the minute you punch at him, and then he'll come back from the side doing a roundhouse punch. And it's always random which roundhouse punch he'll do. Sometimes he'll come from the left, sometimes he'll come from the right. So it's never really a good idea to swing for Great Tiger when his jewel flashes red. When it flashes yellow, sure, but not when it flashes red. Other than that, uh, Great Tiger is really quick, and you just got to be on your toes because those roundhouse arms can come out of nowhere, and if you move in the wrong direction, you're going to take a hit. And if you're not quick enough, you will get hit by that special attack of his. I'm surprised I didn't see the uh, NES special attack he has in the original Punch-Out, where he just... He spins around the room in, like, ridiculously fast, and you have to constantly block. But, again, this isn't the NES Punch-Out. I don't know why I'm mentioning this, but, you know. He didn't really have teleportation powers in the first NES game. He had a very fast, speedy, run-around-the-ring type of attack, but that wasn't teleportation. Oh, well. And yeah, I missed out on the animation of his knockout, but we'll see that when, uh, well, we'll see it later, let's just say that. Again, it happens randomly. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Not my fault. They say boxing is fighting, backed by technique. I think you just proved it, kid. Great fight, great fight. Also, as far as I know, the every time you go to round two, it always has the same intermission where he he trades places with Doc Lewis. I've never not seen that scene happen in round two. But anyway, folks, we're going to be taking on Don Flamenco for the Major Circuit Championship in part eight. <laughs> 